Good morning, Columbus. It is Friday, and we may start drying out this week. How awesome would that be? Uh, no more rain. Uh, looks like it's going to be a gorgeous weekend, uh, so we can get out and get some sunlight. Try to see. Hopefully, get a little bit more light on my face. It gets dark, it gets light. Okay. But thank you for joining us today. Today is our Friday art expedition, as we have been doing for a few weeks now. I've uh, really been enjoying our time, um, and it's relaxing. Uh, art is very therapeutic. It's a way of expressing your feelings, your emotions, uh, your thoughts. There's a lot of things that is possible through art. Uh, and I know it's one thing that a lot of you guys out there use because you have trouble expressing what's on your mind, but you can do throw, do so through drawing pictures and putting pieces of the puzzle together. And art makes that possible. Uh, it's definitely a different medium uh, when trying to communicate. And today, um, I have been inspired. Actually, this idea came to me last night um, as I'm trying to come up with ideas to share with you that we can sit and do together. And this one kind of came to me. Uh, you could say that it was came pouring into my head like all the rain that we've been having recently. Um, <clears throat> And I just think that this message has been hitting me all week and it's been a message of hope. Well, how can you draw hope? And I think I come up, came up with a pretty unique way that we can do that today. And I really hope that you will enjoy this and participate. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper and get a pencil. Um, doesn't have to be sharp, but I sharpen mine because of my OCD. And I want you to draw a dark storm cloud and a lightning bolt right in the middle of the page. Um, doesn't have to be too big. I can do a quick sample before I beef it up. Um, So that way you can see the kind of size we're talking about here because I so if I do my lightning bolt we're talking like that size so do it in your pencil um, you don't have to shade anything in. You can draw additional lines, uh, make it mean and nasty. Um, I know it doesn't have to be perfect either. Lord knows I'm not perfect. Just like some of the angry clouds we have seen all week that have been dumping a huge amount of rain right here in central Ohio. Let's make this bad boy nice and intimidating. Um, let's see what we can do. I can make this, I can thicken my lines up a little bit. here uh, let's see here I'm gonna take a picture with my phone and then I will show you 
what it looks like. Let's tilt it up. I'm getting the shadow. Angry storm cloud. Okay. Um, probably not. So there's my angry storm cloud. And now that I've got that done, and if you're close to having your done as well, the next step is we're going to take our eraser. And we're going to erase what we just drew. Drew. Yes. It's early. I'm just getting up. I haven't even finished my first cup of coffee yet. It's only till 1030. It's not too long. Yeah. Okay. You erase that big old mean storm cloud. And be careful. You don't want to rip your paper. I could have had a better eraser for this one. But that's okay. Because like I said, we're going on symbolism this week. Uh, I wonder if that would work better. I'm going to try a different eraser. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing about renewable erasers is that they're good. But sometimes you really got to work them because they pick up a lot of the graphite from the pencils and charcoal from the charcoal. And you really got to work that out by kneading them up. Of course, I think with some of these art kits, they're never really the best quality anyways. But you know what? We improvise, we adapt, we overcome. Just erase that mean old nasty storm cloud. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I'm far from being perfect. Just throw things on the floor. All right, I'm almost done. And I'll explain what this is going to represent once we're done. And then you'll have a real oh, aha moment. All right, so I've erased it. You can see it's still there, faint, but it's definitely I'm trying to get the camera angle right. I have a nice little shadow because I'm at my wife's wonderful desk, or my wonderful wife's desk. Yeah, that sounds better. All right, now I am going to want you to take your crayons and draw a rainbow on the page. Take it, you know, you got it, draw it, no, I don't want to use my middle finger. You know, start over here, up and over, end over here. Remember the colors of the rainbow? Um, Roy G. Biv, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, Blue, indigo, violet. Roy, R-O-Y, G, middle initial, Biv, B-I-V. That's how I was taught in school and how I'll always remember it because they really drill it into you. I'm going to start with yellow first, even though you just saw me show you an orange or red crayon, just because I like to start out with um, lighter colors. Get my nice arch going here. And you can make it kind of thick because you want your colors to kind of overlap too. Because you know, a rainbow is a big old blended affair. Put that 
right there. Where is my orange? Oh, that's pretty orange. You never know, sometimes you grab something that might look like it's going to be too dark, but it actually kind of blends in pretty well. Now I'm going to use my red. That looks like a nice lipstick red. So, you see see the process and how it's going along. I've got my first three colors, my red, orange, and yellow. Uh, G, green. All right, pretty green. It goes above the yellow. And anybody know how rainbows are made? What? There's going to be a quiz. No. I just like the talk. If you have anything that creates a prism at home, you can create your own rainbows. The way that the light reflects through that. Really, G, Bev, Blue. Um, like this blue. Ew. It's a nice bright blue. Alright. Indigo. Indigo is kind of a bluey, purpley color. And you have to use a lighter purple over the blue. And then come in with a darker purple. Overlapping my colors as best as these crayons will let me. Now we're gonna do the darker purple. Ooh, is this the dark purple? Hmm. No, dark blue. Sometimes you gotta work with what to get. harder and make it darker. Close enough, right? Maybe I'll go over that with some blue. What I just did. Oh yeah, that's a nice indigo. Alright, so I got my rainbow. Now I kind of want to spruce it up. So. What's one thing you need to make a rainbow? Sun. That's right. So I am gonna draw a sun up in my corner, my one corner. It's gonna look like a quarter piece of sun or a slice of pie of sun, a sun slice. Now I want a piece of pie. It is Memorial Day weekend coming up here. Kind of nice relaxing time. Um, I know it kind of brings up some other issues because normally people like to get together with family and hang out, do a barbecue, and that's a little difficult right now. You know, people can't necessarily get out um, you know 
we're still under the Be Smart Ohio and trying to restrict the amount of people that we hang out with and group together with. Um, and I know some people are still um, being made to stay at home to be safe because you have different health issues and whatnot. Um, so those are all things that are important. Um, so we really got to try to play it safe as much as possible, but still remember our family and friends out there. Um, you can video conference with them if you have that ability. Um, call somebody up. Yes, um, people do still make phone calls. You know, call my parents when I need to. Not need to, I guess that's the wrong way to put it. Um, call them up, talk to them, check on them. Just like if you have family that they might call in check on you or if you don't have family you know does someone call in that you can check check in on you so, don't forget to thank a veteran for their service if you know one I know we have um, a few on our staff at WCS. I'd like to send out a warm greeting to them and a very heartfelt thank you for your service. Um, it's not easy being in the military, uh, being away from your family, um, being in harm's way. So those are things that they have to deal with. It's more than just social distancing for them. It's a whole other environment where they're away from their loved ones for months on end or stuck on Navy ships out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. They make a lot of sacrifices. And it's holidays like Memorial Day where we try to express our gratitude for that sacrifice. Um, let's see. All right. So it's come along. I got my nice quarter sun. Some nice sun rays coming out. I've got a nice white cloud over here because there's always some clouds in the sky. You know, does it look like a rabbit? Does it look like a duck? Does it look like Old Man Withers? That's a Scooby-Doo reference for you older folks. Uh, let's see here. Let me do some blue skies. Mm. Too bright. I could push harder, I suppose. I love a nice blue sky. I'm looking forward to seeing some blue sky this weekend. And then I get out and pull some weeds. I'm hoping that it'll be the ground will be nice and soft and they'll come out really easy with all this wet weather we've been having. Maybe sit out on the front porch with some iced tea, homemade iced tea would be great. And just fall asleep, people watching. That to me sounds like a perfect afternoon. Oh, don't forget, we gotta get some blue sky under our rainbow. We need some grass, huh? Let's see. That's a dark green. We did some bushes. Yeah, you always see rainbows. And you're like, that's a weird green. 
Let's get this natural green. There we go. That's more of a green. Yeah, maybe not a bush. I'll just do some. Create a little bit of depth. What about a path, a brown path. Am I throwing too much out at you? It's okay. Sometimes I can ramble. I like walking underneath the St. Louis Arch. I've only ever been to St. Louis once. I had the I was on a business trip for the architect's office I worked at and had to land in the St. Louis airport and drive across the border to a town in Illinois. It was the only way to get to it. And I'm like, oh, I get to see the arch. I got to see it from the car because it was pouring down rain the entire time. Got too close to the edge of the paper on that one. Oh, I need to get my blue back. You know what? Let's make it a little darker towards the bar. Bottom. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's completed. I would love to see your completed one. Uh, so please, I will post my email address. Send them to me so I can post them on our Facebook page. You know, don't be shy. Nobody judges you by your art. It's all about expressing yourself. Now, you're going to ask me, what's the message? Well, this is how it came to me. We've had a lot of changes over these last couple months and it's been hard. Um, so when the storm comes into your life, like COVID-19 or this week, uh, with all the rain and flooding, um, we have, you know, our storm cloud, you can still see it. You know, it's kind of hard for you to see it on the camera, but it's still there. It's still there, but there's always hope. There's always a rainbow. So these are things that we know, you know, we have to have hope. And even though we can still see the scars of that storm that we just passed through, having hope is important. It helps you survive. It helps you help others through these circumstances. And it's just, it's been something that has been a constant theme this week is hope. So yeah, even though we bear the scars of COVID-19 um, or those in our area that are dealing with flooding, those will forever be etched in our mind like the storm cloud is etched on our paper. But when we get through it, when others help us through it, when we allow hope in, we paint these pretty rainbows over these bad memories to show us that we're strong, we have strength, we can survive, we will survive, and we're gonna come out better on the other end. So there may not be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but you know what? We're gonna have friends, we're gonna have family, and we're gonna have those that we care about. That's the message I'm bringing you today with your art. And I hope you found something in this message. And if you needed that hope, um, it's there. If you need to reach out to somebody, uh, the leadership at Goodwill, we are available to talk. Uh, we can put you in contact, you know, if you're one of our clients, we do, you know, 
Tim and Martha have been doing a lot of uh, mental health check-ins and they're available. Uh, you can even get a phone call with them if you need somebody to talk to. We are here, we're still here. We're just in a different capacity right now. Uh, we're slowly coming back to you, though we've never really left. Um, but we're here, we love you guys, we miss you guys. Uh, come and join us, uh, even if it's just through these videos, you're still making a connection. You're still feeling that hope to get you through this storm. Thank you.